So uh, in order to use the brush, you type a B for the brush tool. So right over here is the brush tool. If you type the letter B, you get the brush tool. Now by default, the brush, if you use your pen, so get your, your Wacom tablet, pen, and draw. And remember, you can draw, and then if you press that upper button next to your index finger, that's the delete. So whatever you do last, it gets deleted. So brush, delete, brush, 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 delete, 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 like that. Okay, so by default, if no matter how hard you press using the brush, so press hard, press lightly as you brush, you get one stroke width. And uh, that makes your art a little bit kind of limiting. So how do we make it so it's not uh, such a boring um, line? So the way we do that is we go to our, our brushes right over here. So our brushes, just click on that icon, all right? And what we're going to do is create a new brush just to show you how to do it. So down here, we're going to create a new brush. And a, callig a calligraphic brush is fine. And we're going to hit OK. And uh, you're going to call it uh, Pressure Sensitive. Pressure Sensitive. All right. So given that, the angle, uh, the angle, you don't want to change the angle. You don't want to change the roundness. The size, though, uh, you can always go back and change this. But for now, how about we how about we change this to 20? So 20. And here's where the pressure sensitive uh, is really important, extremely important. So instead of fixed here, you're going to choose pressure. So the variation here, this is the variation, is not very much. So what you want to do is take the variation and make it as, as big as possible. So it's going to go from nothing to something, to something large. And then you hit OK. Now with that brush, give it a test. Brush. Uh, lightly and then press hard as you go along. If you press harder, it, it gets darker and dar or bigger and bigger. So light to dark or light to heavy. Try heavy to light. Okay. So remember, you can only delete that stuff with the with the button on your on your pen. So what I want you to do is using your brush tool, just play around and uh, add some stuff to this using brush sensitive things so there are two ways you can adjust the the uh, the width of the brush uh, one is to go back to your brushes panel right over here and double click on the pressure sensitive brush that you created and obviously you can change these numbers so for example if you change that to 50 um, I'll cancel that for a second double click change this to 50 don't forget to go back to the variation and change the maximum also to be 50. Now when you hit OK, it's going to ask, do you want to apply the current setting that you just made onto the stroke? So this one here, do you want to apply it to that stroke or do you want to leave it alone? So I'm going to leave it alone. Um, okay, so now now when you, when you press really hard, so here we are, um, press really hard, you start out really thick, and then you lighten up as you go along. So the harder you press, the bigger the, the initial, right? Because you made your brush size bigger. Now, another way to change the brush size is just like in Photoshop, your left square bracket and your right square bracket. So um, if you press the left square bracket, then the maximum gets smaller. So I'm just pressing down left square bracket several times. So now it gets smaller. So, and then right square bracket makes the brush bigger the maximum size of the brush bigger but it still is pressure sensitive right so i i think so so like really, really thin really, you gotta touch really, really lightly and then there you go something like that okay so that's how you change the brush sizes if you need to change the brush size.